Okay, here we've got a question on basic statistics on data. And first thing to point out is there's a re-entry point in part B, there's a re-entry point in part C, so there's no excuse for getting nothing on this question, even if you can't do A. No reason why you shouldn't be able to do A, you've got to do the median and the interquartile range of 15 values. Notice that 15 is carefully chosen, so that when you add one to it, it's easy to work out half and a quarter and three quarters of it. So work out your position of your median and your positions of your two quartiles among 15 values. And then, of course, you have to take those values and do not forget to rank them. So place them in rank order. And the information here given about A and B means that A and B are going to be outside the, the, the regions where you actually will be looking for the median and quartiles, so it is possible to calculate them. On to part B, we need two marks, so it's going to be a mark for each. We need one reason why the mode is not an appropriate measure of average. Remembering what the mode is, it's the most common value. So you can simply look at the kinds of values you've got, okay, and point to a problem that the mode would give you. The mark scheme will help if I, I can't say any more without giving that away, I don't think. And then, why can we not, cannot, the standard deviation cannot be used as a measure of spread? That's a big term. There are sometimes disadvantages of the, of the standard deviation. Here it's just impossible. Why is it impossible to give a standard deviation as a measure of spread? Part C. Subsequent investigations real, revealed that the missing values were 8 and 43, so now it's telling you the values of your A and your B, and all you need to do is calculate the mean and standard deviation of that list, which you'll do by putting them very carefully into your calculator. If you've got time, do the whole exercise twice to make sure you get two values for the mean and standard deviation that you're absolutely sure are correct. <laughs>